Not many pupils get to learn from a robot teacher. Now doesn't knock off at five o'clock. He's never stressed out and he doesn't ask for a raise. He's a humanoid robot with an interesting goal. Now wants to become a teacher. Today he's teaching geography and these are his first pupils. They communicate with now using a camera and microphone. Today they're learning about sustainable development. Explaining facts is easy for the robot. But what makes a good teacher is empathy and understanding. How is a machine supposed to respond to children's feelings? How can it motivate them? Avid Kapas is a psychologist who's pursued research into emotions for more than 25 years. His work combines the fields of psychology, neurobiology, and computer science. He's teaching robots to be empathetic. So how can we teach a machine empathy? On the one hand, it's a technical problem that needs to be solved. But on the other hand, we first have to establish what it means to be empathetic. And there are lots of different opinions about that. In the simplest form, though, it's about recognizing what the person I'm interacting with is thinking and feeling. The scientist's first step is to analyze how teachers and pupils interact with each other, the basics of what we call emotional intelligence. To be able to act naturally, now has to recognize his environment and identify the emotional state of his pupils. At the moment, the robot still needs help with this. A psychologist is in the control room and gives now brief instructions and helps the budding teacher when he gets stuck. Initial results show that robots can be helpful in the learning environment. Children respond to criticism from a robot better than from human teachers. But for a conversation, children still prefer a real person. At the moment, teachers don't have to fear for their livelihoods. Robots do best when they're the teacher's assistant. For example, by helping children who have learning difficulties. The mechanical mentor does have one big advantage, he could teach in any number of languages. But now still has an awful lot to learn. Then maybe one day, he'll be given his own class to teach. <laughs> 